Okay, so I've got my LED strips stuck down onto the card profile, the internal profile of the A here. And remember that this is going to be placed in my 3D print and I'm going to have the acrylic cover over the top. So that's what I'm moving towards. Um, but um, they're not all conducting, no, sorry, or not all the lights are illuminating at the moment because I've, I've broken some of the tracks here uh, for the positive rail, for the 5 volt positive rail around the outside in order to create these little these little bends. Um, and to prove what's happening here, do not do this yourself because it's not a very, very good idea. This is, this is just the USB cable that I got from the LED strip that I, I, I cut away here and I've simply stripped the wires so they're exposed. I'm plugging it into a, a phone charger so I've got 5 volts out of the end there and if I just touch those wires against the pads you can see that I get that length there to illuminate um, but because I've broken here the pad in order to can you see there you go oh, there you go okay um, that means that because that's broken there um, is it focusing then if I apply 5 volts there those LEDs illuminate but not this one at the top and if I do the same here that illuminates but none of the others because again I've broken that 5 volt rail so I'm just going to remove there that cable because I don't want that to short circuit it would be fine these these phone charges are surge protected but still it's not good so what I'm going to do is use some copper tape here to basically make these connections now I could just use wire but the problem with wire is um, it's difficult to to hold the wire in place and solder on your own or you need you know someone to hold wires in place and if they're wobbling slightly it's it's tricky whereas this copper tape I can stick it down works really nicely so yeah, the side cutters are working nicely there. I think I'll work with side cutters. Um, I'm going to actually stick that on, and it's quite a big chunk of copper tape there. But I'm actually going to keep it quite big because I find that if I make it tiny, then as I heat it, it kind of falls off. And I'm going to wrap the excess around the back there. Now, I want to zoom in again on this because it's really clear that you see what's happening. And I need something pointy. Let <laughs> me get this tatty pencil. Okay, so what I'm trying to show you here, come on, focus, is that I've still got the copper pad of the LED strip showing here, and the copy pad of the copper pad of the LED strip showing here. And this copper tape is kind of covering half of this pad and half of this pad. And there's no conductivity there yet. I've got to solder it on, uh, but it should be straightforward because, as I say, the copper tape's stuck down onto the card. So that's the effect I'm trying to get. Um, with this copper tape, what I'm going to do is peel away the waxy paper in advance. He said, there we go, because I find it's a real nightmare to peel away when it's, uh, when it's a tiny square. Make it another square there, and in the same way, maybe I'm going to try and do this close in again so you can see this, but I'm trying to make it so that when I stick that down, half the copper pads are exposed. There, that's a nice view. Here, there I've got that round edge, that semicircle, and that semicircle there, the two copper pads, with this copper tape then covering the other half. Okay, let's try and speed up the pace a little bit. Again, just covering half those pads. There's a bit excess there. I'm going to peel it around the back. Here. Going to peel some of the waxy paper off the back. Make sure I keep half the copper pads visible. That looks nice. And there's one more down here. And then let's just put the, the waxy paper back there to keep it nice and clean. And, uh, you know, don't unravel the copper tape, please. Keep the copper tape nice and neat. Okay. 
OK, that's going to go there. And that's looking rather good. Now, what am I going to do for this? Here, I'm going to solder this copper strip onto this copper strip in parallel. I'm not going to go into the technical details here, but effectively, if I, if I soldered this positive 5 onto the positive 5 here, uh, so if I were to solder it like, so to see, that would have to go around to there, and that would have to jump over and go around to there, because that's my negative, negative to negative, positive to positive, that would be in series. Um, which would work in this particular case, but because I've got these terminal connectors closer here, I'm simply going to wire it straight across. So my, my tactic, my technique is to have a piece of copper tape that's going to go across, all the way across there, go over those pads and then solder onto these plus five. And another piece of copper tape is going to go over here and then solder onto that negative. I've not tried this yet. I think it should work hope it'll work. Let's find out. Now I've got to be quite precise here in the cutting of this copper tape. So I'm just going to start to stick it down in advance. So I'm going to go there and I'm covering both of those lower pads with the sticky bit of the tape because I want it to be not conducting onto the negative. I hope that's the right length. Ah, it's it's not quite, but you know, it's the whole thing's come loose here, so maybe I'm just going to do it again. Hmm. Like that. And then I want it to, I might just fold the tape a little bit. There you go. Like that works. That works. Like that. So I have actually folded. Come on, focus. There we are. I have actually folded the tape round a little bit there. It's going out of focus again. So I'm, I've got my pads available here, my pads available here. This is five volts. Again, come on, focus. There we go. So the key thing here is this is five volts, and I'm going to five volts. And then this is the negative or ground. I'm going to take that across to the negative or ground here. Okay, so try and get it to roughly the right length. Let's see if that's correct. Please be correct. Yes! There you go. And I've got my pads exposed slightly there so I can solder onto the tape. Okay, so what I'm going to do now, I'm going to stop this video. In the next video, I'm going to solder this all uh, live. Um, I'm not going to go through how to solder. There's another video that I've got on my channel, which is not mine. But it's really great. It shows you how to basically solder. So I'm just going to go ahead and do it. Okay.